Hello everyone, this is The Hobbyist and today we're talking about the Philippine coins minted during the U.S. administration during 1903 to 1936. So in 1901, the Philippines has been a colony of the United States of America and after two years, they decided to mint our coins so by 1903 they minted seven denominations which is from half centavo one centavo five centavo ten centavo twenty centavo fifty centavo and one peso so let's look into this coins right now if you want to know more about these coins i have a blog and you could see all the details of these coins so the link of the blog is on the description box so check it out so the first coin is a half centavo coin where it is minted from bronze so basically the front side you will see a figure of a man holding a hammer and beside him is the Mayan volcano actually this uh, image can be seen from some of the coins like the one centavo the five centavo coin during this era and on the back side you will see the u.s stamp uh where you could see uh, an eagle with a broad wings and there's a shield where and you can see 13 stars and stripes actually all the coins on this set has this design at the back of their uh, coin so, so initially there's a lot of coin minted during the first year of this coin so around 1903 there are millions of coins being minted uh, not only for the half centavo but also with other coins but after a while they minted less coins the next one is a one centavo coin which is also bronze and it also have the same design in front and back as the half centavo the only difference is it says one centavo above the head of the man there's also millions of this minted during the initial years but around 1908 there's a few then afterwards they minted a lot again millions and millions that's the reason why these coins are not a rare coin the third coin would be a five centavo coin wherein it is the same design but it's minted on copper nickel. The price of this is not that high because there's also a lot of this one. The next one would be the Tencent Dabo. Tencent Dabo have the same design at the back but in front there's a lady holding a hammer. Uh, there's also Mayan Volcano on the front and at the back it's the same then 10 centavo is at the top so this one is created using silver so from 10 centavo to 1 peso they use silver that's why these coins are more expensive when you're buying this but not as expensive as the real rare coin maybe you could sell them to the jeweler with the cost of more material or maybe if you have a really nice coin you could sell them to, to hobbies like me or uh, a new paper coin age or uh, coin historian the next coin is a 20 centavo these coins are minted from silver uh, but from 1903 to 1906 they, they use 90% silver but afterwards they lessen it so for one peso it was 80% but for others it was 75% for the 50 centavo it's the same thing it's just uh, it's, it just says 50 centavo and same with the one peso from what I know there's people selling the one peso around 2,500 6,000 depending on the quality again the price of the coin depends on three things number one if it is limited or rare the number two is the quality of the coin and number three is the coin composition so number one if there are only 500 coin minted or there's only limited number 
of coins that has been minted during that time uh, the price of that coin will go up and with that if the quality of the coin is really good the price will be higher the third one is the coin composition if it is a silver or gold like the 10 centavo to 1 peso even if it is a scrap you could still sell them because the rare metal in it which is silver you could still sell it for a decent amount of price so again for the pricing and for any updates about this set of coins please check out the link of my website at the description box if you have any other questions feel free to put your comment on the comment box below if you like this video be sure to press the thumbs up button and if you want to know more about coins and other collections be sure to press the subscribe button and push the notification bell for you to be notified for my upcoming videos that's all for now thank you and God bless.